The use effect hook in React is a built-in hook that lets you sync your component with external systems or to perform some setup or cleanup actions when the component renders or unmounts. The use effect hook accepts two arguments. The first is a function that contains your logic and the second is a dependency array that determines when to rerun the effect. Now if that's a little bit confusing for you to understand, then don't worry about it because many people do not understand what the use effect hook is all about. Hello everybody, my name is Scootlo. Welcome to Coding 101. I post lit content for web developers to use in their development journey. Now, if you're interested in some of the content that I'm going to be dropping, especially in this season, because I'm planning some very good and interactive videos that you can just like use to improve your coding life, then be sure to subscribe to my channel. If you've enjoyed the video, then you might as well like the video and leave your comments in the comment section if you have any suggestions whatsoever. Now before we get into the use effect hook, there's one thing that you need to understand and that is the React component lifecycle. Now the React component, just like maybe let's say a human being or an animal, has a life of its own. It has a birth stage, it has a growing stage or an updating stage, and it has a time where it dies. So it has timestamps or phases that it goes through. And it goes through three main stages, which is the mounting stage, the updating stage, and the unmounting stage. And all these phases or stages in the React Components lifecycle all relate to the DOM, the Document Object Model. Now, if you don't understand about uh, or uh, having trouble understanding the lifecycle of a React component, I have a video that I'm going to leave on the screen or on the card so that you can understand what the React component lifecycle is all about. But in today's video, we're going to be predominantly focused on the use effect hook and how it is used in React code. So let's get into our video and understand what the use effect hook is all about. Now, the first use case of a U, uh, use effect hook is that you can use the use effect hook to fetch data from an API or update the state with new data. Now, let me show uh, my code over here. So in order to use the use uh, co use effect uh, state or use effect hook, sorry, you could just like uh, import it from just like that. And then remember, like I said in the beginning of this program, it takes in two argument. This is the function. And then over here, it takes in some dependencies. And these dependencies, all they do is to define when to rerun uh, the use effect hook or when to rerun the code that is inside the use effect hook. So that is the structure of the use effect hook. Now let's get into again the, the use cases of the use effect hook. So mostly what it is used for is to uh, fetch and update data before data is loaded into the screen. So I can essentially put in my use effect, oh sorry, I can essentially put in my fetch API over here in order to fetch data from this JSON placeholder API. So what I can also do is that extra, I can extract information from this API and then set and then take that information as and actually set it to the state that I have defined over here. And then after I've done that, so you can see like from this API, this is a JSON placeholder a API. And this API, I'm trying to fetch one of the list items that is inside of that API. So this is like the first item inside of that API. And so I'm trying to extract this title over here. And this is so that it can appear as it does over here. So I'm using the use effect hook in order to actually create that. So I'm taking, sorry, I'm using the use effect hook in order to run the fetch function before the title actually appears on the screen. So if you want to fetch and you want to update data uh, in this manner, you might likely have to use the use effect hook. Now the use effect hook can also be used to handle what we call subscription. Now what subscriptions are, a subscription actually in React refers to an event or data source that you are monitoring or subscribed to. So there's an event that is occurring and you are paying attention to that event. So uh, you are monitoring uh, that event in order to respond to any changes that may occur in that event or any changes to the data that is inside of that event. A subscription is a way of keeping track of changes in an external source. 
so that your React component can update its state and render correctly in response to those changes that are made. Now, examples of subscriptions in React include monitoring the window size or the scroll position. You know, maybe um, you uh, suddenly uh, maximize your screen or suddenly you reduce your screen size. So that is the subscription that you can subscribe for. The size of your screen is something that you can subscribe to. Listening for events from a WebSocket connection and responding to real-time changes. Responding to changes that happen in a real-time database. That is also a subscription. Now to set up a subscription in React, as you can see here, you use a use effect hook and perform the setup in the effect setup function. In the same use effect hook, you can also provide a cleanup function. So this over here is actually a cleanup function uh, to undo any side effects when the component unmounts or when the effect dependencies change. So this is the example that we have of uh, a subscription set up in React. So in this example, we are setting up a subscription to listen for changes in the window size. And by window, I'm referring to your screen. And then updating the state of the component in response to the changes. The subscription is set up in the setup function of the use effect, which is over here and is cleaned up in the cleanup function when the component unmounts or when the effect, the, the, the dependencies uh, that are put in there change. So this is where we are subscribing to the event and this is where we are handling the cleanup. So let me just like try to show you how this actually occurs. Let me show it to you in action. So you can see that we currently have our window width over here. But you can see that each time I lower down or reduce the width of my window screen, you can see that those changes are actually happening. So this is a subscription service. We're subscribing to know um, when uh, the window or the width of our screen changes. So every time the width changes, so does our state. So you can, this is how you use a subscription service inside of React. Now we're going to return our screen to its position. Yeah, so you can see that's how you do it. Let's go to another uh, use case of the use effect. So use effect can also be used to manage side effects. If you're not familiar with side effects, side effects actually refer to changes that occur outside of the scope of a function as a result of calling the function. These changes can be unintended or unexpected and can lead to bugs and other problems in your code. In React, side effects are actions that you perform outside of the render cycle, such as maybe fetching data from an API, that's a side effect, setting up event listeners, or modifying the DOM. These actions can have an impact on your application's state and behavior and must be managed carefully to ensure that your component behaves as, except, as expected. Sorry. So examples of uh, side effects include, like I, like I already mentioned, fetching data from the API, updating the document title, which is the example that we have over here, setting up or removing event listeners, logging to the console, accessing browser storage or cookies, and displaying notifications. So it is important to use use effect hook to manage side effects in your React components so that you can control the order and timing of these actions and ensure that they are performed correctly. So we have a side effect over here. Let me just uh, move my screen properly so that I can show you. So our document title, if you look at the top over here, this is our document title. So what we have done actually in our code is that we have tied the document title. We have said that every single time this state over here, which is called count, every time it changes, remember this is a dependency for use effect. That means whenever you put something in the dependency of a use effect, it means every time that value changes, then the code that is inside of the use effect is going to run. So essentially what's going to happen is that every time this count or this state is changed, that means a new document title is created. So this, uh, because it is a uh, dealing with 
DOM updating the document object model, this is considered a side effect. So you have to take all the side effects and you have to put them inside of your use effect uh, function. So this is what happens every time we increment the count state, then that means the document title is going to change. So let's see what happens if we do that. We have a button over here that is going to increment. So ultimately, as it increments, you can see that the, not only the state changes, but the document title changes as well. So yeah, um, use effect can be used in order to handle or manage side effects. Let's move on to the other use case for uh, a use effect hook. The use effect hook can also be used in order to trigger re-renders. Actually, the use effect hook allows you to manage side effects in your React components and perform updates to the component's state in response to changes in props or changes in the state. When you update the component's state or the prop, this will trigger the component to re-render. Now, this is an example that illustrates how the use effect hook can be used to trigger re-renders. In this example, the component receives a data prop and has a state variable, which is count. The use effect hook is used to increase the value of the count whenever the data prop changes. Whenever the count state changes, the component will in effect re be re-rendered to reflect the new value. It is important to note that the component will only re-render if the component state or props actually do change. React uses a fast and efficient algorithm to determine whether the component's render output has changed and will only re-render the component if this is the case. This helps to optimize the performance of your application and prevent unnecessary re-renders. This is another use case actually for React is that it really helps in optimizing your, uh, your application's performance. So in essence, the hook allows you to optimize the performance once again uh, by only performing updates when they are necessary. So for example, you can use the use effect hook to fetch data from an API only when the component first mounts or when the data dependencies change instead of fetching the data on every single re-render. Now there's so many common cases or common use cases rather for the use effect hook, but there are many more ways you can use it to control your component's behavior and keep it in sync with other parts of your application. Now overall, the use effect hook provides a really powerful and flexible mechanism for managing side effects in React and can help to you to optimize the performance of your components by allowing you to control when and how they are updated or when and how the updates are performed. That's it for today's tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed and if you have enjoyed this video, please press the like button please press the like button and if you have not subscribed to my channel do make sure that you subscribe it's also important as well and if you have any comments uh, if you have any queries if you have anything that you would like to say to me make sure that you leave those comments in the comment section i appreciate you and i love you for watching i will see you on the next video